which are the general principles that we can extract out of this module regarding prompting. In this lesson, we will see an introduction and an highlight about the main principles of prompting that we have been going through the full module. The best practices of working with artificial intelligence seems to be aligned closely with those of working with humans. And this best practice can highlight a common challenge in uh, solving uh, problem solving and addressing misinformation. While technical skills are still crucial for prompt engineering, the effective communication skill acquired from managing others or working in teams are highly applicable for prompt engineering. And this emphasizes the importance of being a better communicator in this field. As Sam Altman, the co-founder and CEO of OpenAI said, the crucial aspect of working with AI is not finding the single word that transforms the prompt, but it's rather focusing on the quality of the ideas and the clear understanding of the desired outcome. So what's the first principle that we can extrapolate from what we have seen? There is no doubt that this give direction to the model. Providing clear guidelines and preference to the generative AI model is crucial because without specific instruction, the chances of generating a good output are very low. Just like humans, generative AI models struggle with tasks like uh, naming without a proper guidance. Which, uh, this is why creative agency, they have briefing with clients in order to get what they would like to receive out of their uh, uh, job. Considering the context and including relevant information in the probe can also be helpful. The direction for generative AI models is given through roles, context and examples. And indeed, providing examples is the second principle of prompting that we have seen. Providing examples enhance the quality of the uh, responses of the model as the prompt can draw from instructive and uh, diverse examples. The prompting involved carefully selecting and inserting examples in what we are asking to perform within a limited space available, balancing between the reliability of the output and the creativity. The absence of example, what we call zero shot prompt, places a very high demand on the model and may yield to unexpected results, highlighting the importance of giving a proper guidance, especially through examples. How can we evaluate the quality of the output? Well, unfortunately, at this moment, there is no feedback loop to assess the quality of the response of a, a generative AI model. This is, uh, there is the need of a rigorous approach for measuring the result when reusing prompts or building production applications. The performance evaluation of generative AI model labors share similarity with the measurement of human labor, drawing inspiration mostly from management science principles like studying work tasks for efficiency. On the other hand, evaluating generative AI model can be done through standardizing evaluation sets, such as, for example, the OpenAI evaluation framework, or more specialized tests like, for example, GPT-4 passing the bar exam for a lawyer. And the last principle is divide the labor. Longer and convoluted prompts may result in less deterministic responses, including hallucinations and anomalies. Breaking the task into multiple chain calls can help solve complex tasks and provide visibility into any failure of the chain. AI tool can be used to automatically evaluate and check for non-desirable outputs by adding a second step to the task. So, to recap what we have seen in this lesson, prompting principles, general principles which are give direction, provide examples, evaluate the quality as much as you can, and divide the labor.